How do you make a time lapse like this? This is the title sequence from the documentary series, The Wild Canadian Year. It shows how one area of forest progressively changes across all four seasons. We asked the cinematographer how this was done because we had a lot of questions. This sequence was a combo of 12 separate shots over a one year period. So how do you maintain consistency in the shot? The cinematographer built a platform made from a ladder attached to a large post they hammered into the ground. This made a solid track for the camera to slide along. On top of the ladder was a sliding cart with four wheels, kind of like a skateboard, that lined up with the width of the ladder and allowed it to roll smoothly and parallel to the seat. On top of the sliding cart was the camera plus a motor that was connected to a long cable, which pulled the cart from left to right along the ladder at a precise speed. Each visit throughout the year, they could drop the sliding cart onto the ladder, reattach the motorized cable, and start the program to move. The cinematographer also built a wooden jig that held the camera at the perfect orientation so they didn't have to manually align it. This means that each time they revisited the scene and placed the slider cart at its start position on the far left side of the ladder, the camera was capturing the exact same frame as the previous visit, even if there were months in between. They also used a prime lens to remove any chance of the composition changing with a zoom lens. Prime lenses have a fixed focal length that doesn't let you zoom in or out. Another person shot time lapses of individual plants growing to be added to the foreground and post, and an editor merged it all into this seamless title sequence. To watch the full behind the scenes documentary, head to the link in our bio and look for Making the Wild Canadian Year.